It is NASA's rover Curiosity which portrayed the scenes of moving clouds in Mars. There exists atmosphere in Mars, but it is very less in comparison with our Earth. The reason is the low gravity in Mars to that of Earth. The formation of clouds on a planet with a very thin atmosphere is a very rare phenomenon. At the time of cold seasons, every year in Mars, we can locate clouds in places close to equator line. But one year on Mars is equal to two years in our planet. NASA published these pictures in their official websites on 2021 May 28th. In the report attached to the pictures, they stated that they were able to picture more clouds than they expected. Curiosity rover filmed the clouds on March 19th and this time the clouds arrived much sooner than they expected. The six pictures taken by the Curiosity rover were sewn together to form a large cloud and it became a visual extravaganza. Curiosity took these pictures after 3063 days reaching the Mars planet. High cold happens in Mars when the planet stands out a large distance from the Sun. Mars doesn't orbit the Sun in a precise circular shape. It is an elliptical path. At some point of this elliptical path, Mars stands very distant from the Sun. It is at this time clouds are formed on the equators of Mars. This time, the clouds in Mars came very early. In the month of January, clouds started to be seen on Mars. Even though Curiosity tried to take these pictures, it was not clear. This happened because sun was setting at that time. Because of the setting sun, varied colors were seen and among them, the clouds were not clearly seen. But with these color changes, NASA was able to know about the formation of clouds and also the particles contained in it. NASA had published the results of these studies. These earlier clouds were usually seen at a much higher altitude than the clouds normally form on Mars. Usually, clouds are not formed above 60 kilometers in Mars. Clouds formed below 60 kilometers usually contains water ice. But the clouds now found, which is 60 km above, doesn't have water ice. As stated by NASA, the main find is frozen carbon dioxide or dry ice. The distance from the surface of Mars to the clouds determines whether it contains dry ice or water ice. Different types of pictures are obtained through the two different cameras placed in the Curiosity rover. The navigation camera used for Curiosity rover's navigation purpose is a black and white camera. When captured through this camera, we got the black and white pictures of rippling clouds in the sky. With this, the structure of clouds were identified. At the same time, the color camera attached by Curiosity is known as Muscam or Mask Camera. The pictures taken by this camera stands as a wonder. Literally, those pictures are shining. Curiosity was able to film the noctilucent clouds that appear on Mars. Noctilucent means the clouds that shine in the night. These clouds are seen shining on sky after sunset. At that time, no light produced by sun will be seen on the surface of Mars. The strange shining of these clouds happen because sunlight still hits the top of those clouds. There is no sunlight on the surface, but sunlight falls on the top of the clouds. This phenomenon can be seen in Earth also, especially in European areas and in the northern part of North America. But the noctilucent clouds in Mars are more brighter and shining than the noctilucent clouds in Earth. The reason behind this is the presence of crystal particles in the clouds of Mars. We can also see iridescent clouds in Mars. When viewed from different parts of Mars, we can see these clouds in different colors. It's a stunning scene. So these clouds are referred to as mother of pearls. This is because the matter contained in these clouds remains the same. 
we can see colors like red green blue purple in these clouds when we hear about the clouds on mars the first question that comes to our mind is whether it rains in mars or not yes it rains there but it is different from the rain that falls on earth in earth the rain happens either in the form of snow or water but in mars it doesn't rain in either way instead it rain in the form of ice cubes these kind of rains are known as frozen rain in earth also frozen rain happens but natural rain too falls with it but in mars the rainfall is filled with ice cubes and not a drop of water nasa was once able to see and understand this directly it was the spacecraft viking 2 which helped nasa for witnessing this great wonder frozen rain happens in mars because of the speciality of its structure on colder nights the surface is colder than the atmosphere therefore the air filling into the atmosphere will fall thickly into the surface Viking 2 was launched on the month of September 1976. One fine morning, Viking 2 found out this ice cubes in the surface of Mars. When it rains on Earth, the water flows into the lowlands. So, what happens when it rains on the surface of Mars? Let's find out. We can connect it with the linear gullies found on Mars surface. The sloping areas of Mars about 2 kilometers. These paths are known as gullies. Those paths are long and end in pits. These gullies are the results of frozen carbon dioxide that falls on the planet Mars. They move from there and reach to the lowlands. NASA experimented it in a desert region. For this, they used dry ice that consists of carbon dioxide and water ice water ice traveled a very short distance at the same time dry ice traveled a lot the same dry ice experimentation was conducted on a slightly lower space precisely 6 degree slope this was also moving very well when dry ice collides with the sand in the ground the ice in that area melts down when ice melts the gas that comes out is carbon dioxide this gas raises the ice a little and this is the reason why it is able to travel smooth without any resistance if there is enough dry ice even a man can be lifted up a little nasa is conducting more experiments in this area if so we will soon be able to see man driving above ice on the surface of mars want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries and sensational discoveries then subscribe to bright care light english and never miss any of our videos in the future remember to give our posters a thumbs up to show us that we keep you engaged with our content